What is up guys? Welcome back to another exciting race day. Furiously collecting in the house with two custom built cars that he did specifically for Brian and Dominic to go head to head and talk about just an exciting night. So here are the drivers, of course, sitting on top as a king of the tower. We have Big Daddy Diecast sitting in second. We got Taylor, Quizzy Cats in third, Colin Glues in fourth. Gary Redmond's in fifth, and Lloyd is in sixth as gatekeeper. So here we go, guys. Two of the most iconic cars hand built by Furiously Collecting. And of course, we got Brian in the Supra, Dominic in the Charger. Let's get race number one going. And look at that pool on the Supra, 299 to a 359. You know, and honestly, I don't even know if Dominic was awake on that one. That was ridiculously embarrassing for that Charger. That Supra was gone. So let's see race number two, see if the Buster has it in him yet again. Oh, and it was an even out of the gate, but that Supra's just pulling train lengths on him, 297. That means the Buster advances. Dominic does not. Looks like he's going to get some work done to the Charger. The Super is going to sit off for a second because now we got Simple Man and Dale Garcia going head to head. Electric versus Pony. Here we go. Race number two for the night. Simple Man is back in the fastback. Of course, Dale's bringing the electric car in the game. Here we go. All right, pretty even off the start. The Mustang gets a slight pull, 365 to a 402. Definitely not the fastest car Dale has been in. I mean, that's probably the first car he's had in the fours. But let's see if he can make it up on the next one. Ah, they are starting out pretty even, but the 65 takes it. A 370 gives him the win. So Dale does not advance for this one. So that means Simple Man will be lining up against Cody Collins in his new vehicle. I mean, look at the weight reduction difference. He has no door panels, tubular chassis, it's electric. He's got the torque in his house. I don't know. I don't know if that 65 can handle this one. I'm hoping, but here we go. Oh yeah, super strong start for Cody on this one, 306 to a 380. Simple Man really needs to just put the pedal to the ground and just go. I mean, he's gotta really, really give it all. Oh my God, nope, never mind. Cody traps a 307 to a 370 and he advances. Simple Man does not advance for this one. That means the Wizard Man is going up against the Buster in the Supra and we all saw how fast that car was earlier. And here we go, guys. The Supra is just waiting for this moment. Here we go. Let's see. Is the 2J going to be enough to beat this electric car that Cody brought? I think he will. I think he will do good. I mean, just the way he performed earlier. But let's go ahead and see. Light is down, and let's go. Here we go, reeling them in. Oh, yeah, 296 to a 305. That Supra is dialed in for this one. 290s is where he needs to be in order to solidify this race. Can Cody do it? Let's see. He gets a good start, but the Supra reels him in. 296. Oh, yeah. 
There we go. The 2J took that one. That means he will advance and go up against the drivers. He's going up against Lloyd as gatekeeper in the 1970 Mach 1. Oh man, here we go. Furiously Collecting did a really good job with this build. This car is super fast. Look at that. Mustang tried to keep up, does not with the 296 for the Supra. Brian is just focused on this night right here. I mean, this is huge. This is huge, guys. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Mustang was hanging in just a little bit. 297 to a 307. Lloyd is eliminated from the tower. Brian is now advancing. Look at that, guys. Man, another Mustang eliminated for the night. Lloyd, we will see you in future races. But that means Gary Redmond is up to go up against the Supra. Here we go. Corvette versus Toyota. Uh oh, here we go. Ooh, nice lead for Gary, but Brian reels him in 295 to a 302. That Supra is pretty consistent. 296, 295. Oh man, come on, Gary. You gotta do something in that Corvette. He gets a really good lead, but the Supra just reels him in. 295 to a three flat. Gary was getting faster, but Brian was just there dialed in, being very consistent. So that means Gary drops down as gatekeeper in six. Colin Glue is up next to go up against Brian. Here we go. Another big body, just futuristic powerhouse in that blue car. I mean, that is just a super cool build. But here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was right there, but the super pulled him. 294 to a 299. Colin is right there in the 290s. He's just got to bring it down just a little bit to keep up with this Supra. Here we go, race number two. Pretty close, but the Supra does pull ahead. A 294 to a 299. Oh yeah, he is here for business, guys. Brian is just going car by car, and now he's going up against Pussycat in the Daytona. Uh-oh, Pussycat doesn't like this type of pressure. Let's see, can he do it? Oh my gosh, the Supra is just, he is right there on the money, a 296. Oh, come on, Pussycat, come on. Here we go, Daytona, get it, let's go. Nope, Supra just pulls enough, 294 to a 304. He's getting faster, 294 is his fastest so far. Pussycat gets dropped down another spot. Here we go, we got Taylor in the Nerve Hammer. Gosh, man. Oh, this is exciting. This is exciting, because that Nerve Hammer is a fast car. That is the reason why he's in second. And Brian Supra, I mean, he is just going. He is just going, guys. He is not playing. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we have, oh, 295 to a 298. Brian slowed down on this one, costing him that win. Oh, he needs to bring this one back. Here we go. Close racing right here. Oh, this is 295 to a 296. There we go. By a hundredth of a second. Can he win the next one? And he does 294 to a 295. Super close racing right there. I mean, both of their times are right around where they sit. Uh-oh. Here we go, Big Daddy Diecast. He's gotta do something. He wants to hold his spot. Brian is going after this king spot right here. Uh-oh, Big Daddy in the Honda Spocket and the Supra driven by Brian. Let's see, can he hold him off? Oh yeah, solid, solid takeoff. 290 to a 295. Man. All he has to do is win this one, and Brian will not take his spot. He will be in second. But anything can happen, guys. Here we go. Race number two. Big Daddy still gets a good lead. 290 again. Very consistent. 295 for the Supra. So Brian is going to be sitting in our second position on the tower. Check that out, guys. Talk about awesome. Big Daddy held him off. I was not expecting that, so a 290 is where that super needs to be if he wants to hit that top spot. So here is the new lineup, guys. Big Daddy is still, of course, sitting on top as the king. Brian in the super is in second. We got Taylor in third. 
Hoozy Cat's now in fourth, Colin Glue's in fifth, and Gary Redman is now our gatekeeper on the tower. So check this out. Beautiful, beautiful racing for tonight, guys. Thank you all for showing up. Dale Garcia, Cody Collins, Simple Man, Lloyd, and of course, Dominic. We will see you in the future. So until next time, guys, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.